Mm. Daddy used to take us there when we were kids. Mm. That's when I was a bum. Before this princess lifted me out of the frog pond. Mixed metaphor. I used to hang out there. <laughs> All those old Southside Dagos, they'd come out every night and throw stale bread at the ducks. I'd sit there with my crawler and my beer. Yeah, Pam will tell you. She's, she's heard this story. Yeah, I was a bum. I was a waste of a life. But I could go to that lake and next to that, the old snack bar, you know, hang out by the water with a nickel cup of coffee. And a cruller. <laughs> I mean, does anybody know what a cruller is? <laughs> is there a point in this meandering? Yes, there is a point. I sat there for 365 days with my thumb up my ass and my mouth hanging open. But on the 366th day, I came up with the idea for my company. Yeah, sometimes you, you need a place where you can just, you know, a quiet place where you can work things out. And that was my place. My formula for success right there, sitting by the shack where the, they bring in the boats for repair with a... Crawler, with, I know. No. With no hope for a guy like me, until I came up with my million dollar idea, I put it all together. It was, it was like a light bulb went off in my head. I mean, that night I called my brother and the rest is history. Just from sitting on my ass on a busted out bench watching the weeds go back and forth, I mean, I, 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 I could hear myself think. And, and you know, it, Otherwise, I wouldn't have come up with that idea. I wouldn't have been able to make it all happen. I wouldn't have made something out of my life. I wouldn't have been able to stalk Pam through the town until she said yes. Uh, you know, I'm not a religious kind of guy, but I don't know. I would say it, was like, it was like God was talking to me that day, right there in that spot. Anyway, it just, it all led up to this one. <laughs> is this a man? <laughs> this is a man.